start with this equation at six or seven years old. Um, so let's do proof by induction, same thing. Proof by induction, we use the three axioms. We talked about axiom yesterday. Axiom is something we cannot prove. It's just an assumption, three axioms. First one is the let P of N is true. Then P of one, let's P of one is predicate. We talked about predicate yesterday. We talked about x squared plus x plus 41 it is a prime number. So if this is in proposition, then the value of the, the variable is the predicate. Now what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna write that P of one is also true. If P of one is true, then what are we gonna do? We're gonna say that P of K plus one is, should be true. So these three axioms we're gonna use to prove that um, one plus two plus three plus N is equal to N, N plus one over two. We want to prove the equation that goes created. We're going to prove by induction. So what are we going to do? We're going to check for one. If it does work, then we're going to do the next step. We're going to do for k plus one. So let's step one. Check for one. Let's go check for one. So this is the end. And this is n, n plus 1 over 2. If you plug them in, n is 1, 1, 1 plus 1 over 2. This is 1 equal to 1. Check, it works for n. Now our hypothesis is if it works for n, it better work for k plus 1. And that's what we're going to try to prove now on this side. Maybe we will do in this side. Okay, now remember proof by induction has a two parts. One part is the left hand side, the other part has the right hand side. So one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n equal to n and plus one over two. So this guy is on the left hand side. This guy is the right hand side. So let's first do the left hand side. Our goal is the right left hand side equal to right hand side. If this happens, then we're gonna draw a rectangle, meaning that we prove it. So now, let's do it for the K plus one. We already plug in one and it worked for one. So it should work for K plus one. So one plus two plus three plus that, 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 plus k, plus k, plus one. Okay, so now what is this one? This one, we already see that this one is k, k plus one over two. And the small part is k plus one. This guy, if that's, uh, yep. So now we're gonna distribute k squared plus k over two plus k plus one. So if we do, if we solve that, we see that k squared plus k plus 2k plus 1, who is this? k squared plus 3k plus 1 over 2. So this is our left hand side. The left hand side is k squared plus 3k plus 1 over 2. Our right hand side, now we have to do our right hand side. This is our right hand side, the yellow one. Let's do the right hand side, and right hand side is n, parenthesis, n plus one over two. Now remember k replace n. And now remember, we have to put k plus one, because if it's true for one, it has to be true for k plus one. So k plus one plus one, this one comes from this, over two. 
So we have k plus 1 and k plus 2 over 2. Now we just going to foil it. Um, k squared plus 2k plus k plus 2 over 2, which is k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. So this is our right hand side. We're going to rewrite our right hand side over there. Right hand side is k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2 uh, plus um, This should be 2 because this one is 2. So this one is 2. So our left hand side is equal to right hand side k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2 is k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. So we accepted, we proved that.